So should you go short? Should you short a stock? Uh, as the stock market sort of gyrates up and down, a lot of people want to go short. Also, people want to go short because they hear the stories about people who made a killing shorting the market. Um, Jesse Livermore made, I believe it was $100 million during the stock market crash of the late 20s. George Soros made a billion dollars in the 1980s shorting the pound. There are stories of people who made life-changing money shorting the market during the 87 crash. So they say, okay, maybe I'll short the market. And then there are people like Tim Sice who are known for shorting penny stocks. So let me tell you why I think shorting as a way to speculate is really a bad idea. But shorting under certain circumstances might be good, um, like shorting uh, for hedging, hedging against your long positions. First of all, shorting is much harder than going long. Going lo Just buying stocks and holding on to them takes a skill set where you have to read a company's numbers, look at the management, look at the product, look at the competition. Uh, just to make that decision to go long is a whole skill in itself. Going short requires a whole other set of skills. You have to investigate a company, see if they're hiding something, see if they're maybe misleading their investors, or maybe you see something that no one else sees. Very, very hard to go short as a speculative. I mean, even companies that short um, hedge funds that are short-based hedge funds, a lot of them blow up. A lot of them, a lot of them have a very unsuccessful rate um, and you don't hear a lot about them. One of the few research firms, uh, Muddy Waters, uh, they're kind of successful. A lot of a lot of others, they don't do very well. They they end up having to close because even though maybe they were right to short a company, their timing is off. And while the timing is off, they're just getting killed when on the wrong side of a short position. Um, also, if you want to short in your own account, you have to have, I believe, at least $2,000 in a brokerage account to go short. Um, there's also unlimited risk. If you if you let's say short a penny stock or you try to short something that's that's really booming, you could end up losing more than what you invested, especially if that stock you're shorting doubles and then you get a margin call. Now we talked about why shorting is a problem. Let me talk about times you can short where it might be okay to short. Shorting as a hedge, if you have um, a long position, let's say you're fifty thousand, you have fifty thousand dollars worth of stock that are long, and you're worried that the market's going to roll over, you could take if you have uh, 10%, uh, let's say $5,000 in cash, you could go short using a, um, a short um, S&P 500 ETF, or if you're heavy into tech, then you use a short um, triple Q short ETF. And you could do it that way. Also, you could use options. Now, options are a little more complicated, but I do not recommend using just straight um, puts, buying puts, which is a way to hedge. You can hedge. I would recommend put spreads which is you buy a put. Now, the way I would do it is you would buy a put that's in the money, and then you would sell a put that's right out of the money, and you would open that put spread two to four months out from expiration. That would give you some time um, because it's very hard to, to, to time the market. Two to four months out on a put spread that's kind of on the money uh, gives you a nice margin of error. Uh, and I've had good success with put spreads on the money, uh, not not a lot of good success with straight puts. You you have to be right and you have to be uh, very very right with put spreads. You could actually the market to do nothing and you can make money because the um, the put that you sell out of the money will decay and the put that you have in the money will make a little money and that spread opens up so you can realize a little bit of a profit. Um, also another way that you can uh, go short or hedge is using something a service called Nadex, which is the only U.S. licensed uh, binary option service. They also have spreads, weekly spreads, so you can <clears throat> short on a daily or weekly basis. I would not recommend daily binary spread, uh, daily binary options, but their weekly, their weekly spreads or their weekly binary options might be a good option for you if you feel that one week may go really bad and you can, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, and I, it's a really good company, Nadex.com, if you want to check them out. I don't have any affiliate or any association with them. It's just a service I use, so I would just recommend them. Uh, also realize that shorting is more volatile than going long. Sh um, when, when stocks or the market goes down, they go down violently, and then they can come up even more violently. So you just have to be aware of that. And um, another way that you can short a safe way, you can short is doing something called a pair spread, where you go... 
short on one stock, but you also go long on another stock. So for instance, uh, if, you, if you feel like there's a very weak stock in the tech sector, let's just call it the XYZ company, you can short XYZ stock, but you can go long, let's say Apple stock, or just go long the triple Q NASDAQ. And what you're essentially speculating is that you're speculating that the company that you're shorting will underperform either the market or a better performing company. That, that allows you um, a little bit of margin for error. So you can definitely look at um, uh, pair spreads as a good way to go short if you believe a, a company is going to go down in price or a certain sector. Let's say if you believe um, basic materials is going to go down, you could short basic materials and stay long um, the S&P 500 with the SPY ETF. So that, that's my position on shorts. I would say if you want to short, just be very careful. Look at uh, put spreads, look at pair spreads. Also look at a binary short options, okay? Thank you very much. If you love the video, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.